No, I thought it was fingers because this is going to have flatter on it. Hey y'all, welcome to Styrus Homestead. I'm Zach. And I'm Jim. And today we want to show you several of our repeat tried and true kitchen meals. Summer garden meals. Yes, yeah, so summer garden. So we show you a lot of what we do to preserve our food, but we don't do a whole lot of showing you just meals that we eat from our garden and what we kind of eat on a daily basis as trying to be as sustainable as possible. So we figured we'd do that. Yeah, and we like to eat in season. And that's kind of what this is about, in season eating. All right, so we've got some of our country ham that I just fried up. That was easy and simple. We love country ham. I know a lot of people don't. It's like a southern staple, but it's one of our favorites. Um, this is like a squash. It's not fried. It's a little bit. It's battered. widely breaded, but yeah. it doesn't really stick to the squash. So, so it's, it's actually like my, my mom's recipe. She made this for us. I think the first time was when we went camping, yeah. and I fell in love with it. So now every time we have extra squash, I have to have it this way. So it's not technically fried, but it's sautéed with a little bit of batter, an onion, and a tomato from our garden, and it's really, really good. So we've got a second batch of that going now because it actually does hold really good for leftovers. So if you make too much or if you want to make more, you can save it and then have it for lunch the next day. Here we've got some of our okra. I did not bread it. I just put it in some of our lard and then put some salt and pepper on it. Um, fried okra is really good. We love fried okra, but you don't want to just continuously eat fried stuff. And stuff from the garden is good without being fried. So we just try to take out the fried part anytime we can. And then the kids are having leftover spaghetti from last night because they don't necessarily want all that. Um, but it is our homemade spaghetti sauce. So two things we've done here. One, we have tried to cut out paper towels. And this was also an idea from her mom. Um, we haven't had paper towels in probably, what, two and a half, three weeks? So that's one thing that we've done. Secondly, we got rid of our microwave. Yes. Not intentionally. Nope. It blew up. <laughs> it was hardly ever used, yeah. mainly for leftovers. And, and then sometimes the kids will have popcorn. Yeah. Um, well, when you have leftovers, that means they're going to kind of go to waste. So you yeah. want to make sure you're using them and so they don't go to waste. So we're learning life without a microwave. And this is part and of that. And without paper towels. <laughs> and without paper towels, which that one hasn't been too bad. But yeah. the, the microwave has been the biggest kicker, yeah. mainly for the kids. <laughs> I got a cow leg. Look at this thing. Won't go down. Okay, good morning. So last night's dinner was fantastic. It was so flipping good. And so now it's the next morning. Jed and I just got done doing chores and I was harvesting the garden. Now Jen's doing that. I'll show you what she's doing here in just a second. But now it's breakfast. So what does a normal breakfast for us look like in the middle of summer? So normally it would be something quick and easy. We kind of have like two different style breakfasts. We have the quick and easy tomato sammy or the more elaborate one when we're feeling like it's going to be a bigger work day and we need a little bit more hardiness and especially myself and Jed if we're going to be doing a lot of physical work so we'll get a little bit more meat and tater kind of style. So today is more of a meat and tater kind of style but it is very simple. Sausage, toast, farm fresh eggs. Sausage is our pig eggs are our chickens and the toast this time is bought but normally Jen has got homemade bread going just right now there's so much harvesting and preserving that's going on that's had to take a little bit of a bank burner. Yeah. So what do you got going on babe? So while he's cooking I'm cutting up some more cucumbers to soak and I'm going to make more pickles so I'm going to see how much it is I might do half and half dill and bread and butter or I might just do all dill we'll see. 
Um, but yeah, more cucumbers coming in. What do you think? Is this the last of them? Or we can yeah, I think this is probably the last big harvest that we'll have to preserve. We might have some fresh slicers to eat, but not enough to preserve. That's okay. Uh, we do have, we got a lot of pickles this year. Yes, so we did. I'm all right with it. <laughs> So if you cut the last video, you saw it starting the process of making spaghetti. Look at that yumminess. It smells so good. Wish yes, you could it smell it. So that's cooking down. And then here in a little bit, I'm going to start blending it all up. So cooking today will be the pickles and the spaghetti sauce. Might put some squash in the freeze dryer. Haven't decided yet. Then we'll see. So I think there's a challenge going on right now. The little bit counts, every little yeah, bit counts. Yeah, I haven't looked into it. I don't know what it is. Basically, I mean, the gist of it is preserving something every single day. Uh, making sure that in some form or fashion, you're putting something back in your pantry, however that is. Hey, we got that covered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got that covered. Actually, that's why I brought it up, because it's like, I've been seeing people post about it, and I'm like, well, we're kicking right into gear there, so let's just keep it rolling. So we're gonna be doing a lot of preserving, uh, but for now, let's get breakfast done. It is recording, but I can never tell you what piece of wood is going to do with it. Let's just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Breakfast is served. Some of the group like scrambled eggs. I like mine a little bit more on the runny side of things. So we got some apple butter on our toast, a little egg, a little sausage, a little fresh tomato, and a fresh cucumber. Let's do this. How was breakfast? Wonderful. Wonderful. Now what are you doing? I am going through our seeds. We've already got some fall stuff planted and up-potted, but we're going to direct sow quite a bit of stuff once we tear stuff out that's no longer producing. So i got to figure out what we're going to plant. So we've actually already started tearing out some of the stuff, especially in Jen's kitchen garden. Some of the green beans are completely done. We cleaned up the garlic bed. Um, so both of those will be used. And then you all already saw in the last video some of the fall crops that we started that she mentioned, the broccoli, the cabbage, and different stuff like that. So now what, it's gonna be more on the like, more peas, because we already got some peas started, but we're gonna do more peas. Beets, lettuces, kale, stuff like that um, is what's gonna be coming down the line next. Break it? Why did I turn it on? It was literally on for a second. Does it light up or something? It made a noise. Now it's not doing any of that. Oh, I bet it flipped this. So it's getting close to lunchtime. I'm going to go ahead and shoot you straight. This lunch is looking like it might be a quick and easy lunch, like maybe a Sammy. Or I'm not really. No, I'm not really hungry either. It's pretty good breakfast, so it'll just be an easy lunch. However, you see all this greenery behind me. We just went and cut a bunch of basil up. She has a bunch hanging. She has some in her vase. And now she's making pesto and she's also getting the water bath canner going. Long day, man. It's getting started. It's getting started. So she's getting the water bath canner going for uh, the tomato, the spaghetti sauce, and the pickles, really, for later. And then over here, we've got the pesto started. So we just get this new oyster. What's this thing called? A food processor. A food processor. And apparently, if it's not like 100% locked down, you think everything's broke. Figure that problem out. So now she started chopping and she's gonna continue to chop and add her oil. Yep. So all that's in there is fresh basil, walnuts, a little parmesan. And some garlic. And then I'm gonna slowly add the oil in. Extra virgin olive oil. Yep. All right, so all she's doing now is just kind of working it back down because it kind of gets stuck to the sides. It's looking like it's there. It's a little thick. You think a little bit more oil? Yeah. A little saltier this time, maybe from the parmesan. Is she salty? No. 
an extra click there at the end. Yes, there is. There you go. What do we do with it? Well, you put it on like sandwiches, you put it in pastas. That's so good. The best ever. Yeah. All right, that was a whole lot of basil, and it made about a pint of pesto, and that's kind of the consistency you're looking for, more like a paste. Um, because then, if, especially if you're putting it in any kind of pastas, it'll melt down and get all melty in there on your pasta. But that's a good consistency that we're looking for, and it tastes amazing. So that's how you make homemade pasta, or I almost said pasta, <laughs> homemade pesto. My gosh, I wish I could smell this place. Smells amazing and it smells like fall. Yes, it does. And then also with a hint of basil. I'm it's so ready. ready for fall. <laughs> <laughs> so ready for fall. I told her we're not allowed to start eating chili. We're not allowed to start watching Spookly the Square Pumpkin until we harvest our first pumpkin <laughs> at least at a minimum. It is too hot to be celebrating that. My first pumpkin's almost ready. Though. It is. It's pretty orange. It's <laughs> getting there. We're just waiting on the stem to dry. Man, they tried to put it on Spookly the other day. I'm sure she'd be ready for Hocus right. Pocus here in the very near future. Very ready. <laughs> Anyways, she's getting uh, the spaghetti sauce in our jars. Uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Two tablespoons of lemon juice in the bottom. Um, and then she's filling them up with all nice and hot, water bath's hot, and then we'll get them going. Again, that video's linked down below if you want the specific for it, but gosh, it smells good. So I like it. Get a gersh, get a new rag. There you go. Mer. Mer is M-Y-R-R-H or R-H? Okay. Hey. Something. So even though we're swamped, what are they having, babe? Um, Wyatt's having ham, peppers, and watermelon. Raylan's having chicken nuggets, grapes, and watermelon. Nice, not bad, not bad. Is this all of them? Two of them. So that's 14, 16? All right, so we are gonna end up with 16 quarts of spaghetti sauce, and it looks amazing. So one thing I wanted to note that you may have noticed, if you can see these jars, they're not ball, well that one is, sorry. This one specifically, it's not ball. These are actually from Ulot. Um, and we wanted to test them out and they seem to do really well. Even the lids have seemed to do really well and they got a nice loud ping um, that's going on there. Jen's over here washing pickles now. She just keeps going nonstop. Um, but if you've never ordered from Uline, it's like a bulk shipping area. They got like everything that you could ever want. Um, now, their shipping is a little expensive. Like if you're buying off Amazon, you know, you get the free shipping, then you go over to Uline, you gotta make sure you're doing some math with the shipping included. But you can get jars very, very discounted. We are not affiliated, we've just been trying them out because we've been doing so much bulk stuff with gallons and half gallons and etc. Um, but we wanted to try the canning jars out, and so far that worked really well, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and I like the way they look too. They yeah. look like um, you get them from like the old mill or something. Right, like an old fat. It like, is the same jars. Like that's what right. stores use, like general stores for their um, jams and jellies and canned goods. That's the same brand. That that's a good use. point. Yeah. So. If you're ever in need of jars and you can't get your hands on them or you're tired of getting all the China stuff from Amazon that doesn't work, um, check out Elon. You might like them. All right, Jen is officially done for the day. That is 20 jars of food, six pickles, uh, 14 spaghettis. Now that is what you call a good day on the farm.